Manners make good first impressions. And because your manners are showing all the time, they have a lot to do with how well people like you. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Please, just how do you do? How do you do, Joan? How do you do, Mrs. Norton? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Joe called. He said he'd be a little late. Say, do you look smooth? Why, thank you, sir. You look mighty elegant yourself, if I may say so. Yes, indeed. Both Don and Sue look like the kind of people you'd like to know, don't they? Clothes pressed and mended. Shoes polished. These are a few of the habits with which Don and Sue keep neat. And neatness is one of the fundamentals of grooming. And here's something else for your appearance. Eat a hearty, balanced breakfast. There's nothing like wholesome food to help keep you in good health. And that means a clear complexion, shining eyes, glossy hair. In short, that means a better appearance. Don's all set to look right at school, isn't he? Ready to go? Ready for you. We're going, Mom. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Jack. Bye, sis. See you after school. Right. When Jack leaves the house with a lady, it's ladies first. Yes, even with his sister. And no loafing around. Being on time is good manners, too. Are your manners showing when you're in class? Let's see. There's Jack giving the teacher his best attention. Good manners again. Everywhere you go, your manners are with you. And they leave their mark. They help you feel sure of yourself, too. And they make an impression on people, on everyone you meet. Let's imagine the family at dinner with nobody minding his manners. <laughs> Not very pretty, is it? Each person busy feeding his face, showing no consideration for the others. No one can enjoy a meal like this. No. Meal time is a time for pleasure and relaxation. It's the best opportunity the family has to talk together, exchange bits of news, make plans. When everybody eats properly, the meal goes better. Look sharp now. There, there is a place setting properly arranged. It looks all right, but what am I supposed to do? That's the question. Well, what would you do if you sat down to dinner and found three forks, like this? I'd probably end up with one left over and wonder what I did wrong. Not if you remember one simple rule. Always use silverware from the outside in. So, starting from the outside, use this for your salad, this for your main course, and this... Why, that one must be for the dessert. You see? It's easy. Let's have some food. Clean dry foods, bread is one of them, are finger foods. But when you have something that's messy or sticky, you better use a fork. Yeah, like a cream puff? There's a right way to hold a fork, and this is it. Don't put onto your fork any more than one mouthful of food. Oh yes, after you've placed food on your fork, if you decide to talk, lay it down until you're ready to eat. It looks better. Here, now you try it. Okay. 
Now, with some fork foods, we need a knife. Let's see how you use it. The folks say I do it wrong. How do you manage soup? Hi, you don't fool me on this one. You dip the soup away from you, not too much in the spoon, and you eat from the side of the spoon. Precisely. You mean that's all there is to table manners, just what we've talked about? Oh, no. But you already know a great deal. And you can learn still more by watching mother and dad and other people who have good manners. But the main thing is... The main thing is, is to practice at home so that table manners will come naturally and I won't have to think about them when I'm out. You can't miss. Meet Alice. She has just arrived home from a hard day at work. She switches on her computing machine and looks to see what her friends have been up to on Facebook, the electric friendship generator. First, she checks in to see what Timmy's been up to. Alice and Timmy have been going steady for six months and she thinks he's a real swell guy. Alice hasn't spoken to Timmy since last evening and can't wait to see what his day was like. That's funny. At 2.05 this morning, Timmy changed his relationship status from in a relationship to single. Even more curious, he became friends with Donna Whitehouse at 2.07 a.m. Timmy just bungled rule number one of Facebook relationship etiquette. Don't change your relationship status without consulting the other person. What a dope. Alice decides there must be some sort of mistake. The Timmy she knows would never disregard her feelings this way. She sends him a note to see if it was a mistake. Alice waits and waits and waits. Alice is tired of waiting so she decides to stick it to Timmy. She uploads and tags a few embarrassing photographs of Timmy, but Alice just broke Facebook relationship etiquette rule too. Don't post embarrassing photographs of other people. Shame on you, Alice. It looks like Timmy has posted some messages on Alice's wall. I can't believe you posted those photos of me. Sorry for being such a square. Baby? Are you there? You've just broken Facebook relationship etiquette rule number three. Be discreet when posting messages on another person's wall. Alice doesn't take the bait. She removes Timmy's posts and tries to move on with her life. That's interesting. Timmy has been very busy on Facebook making friends with all of Alice's friends. Who would want to be pals with a grody Jody like Timmy? He has violated Facebook relationship rule number four. Don't steal other people's friends. Cool it, Alice. No one's going to date you if you get frown lines. Alice is fed up. So she creates a group called Timmy Gordon's A Real Wet Blanket. According to the group's description, Timmy cries over spilled milk. Timmy buys things not made in the USA. Timmy wets the bed. And Timmy is a communist. Be careful, Alice. This is clearly in violation of Facebook relationship rule number five. Don't start hate groups. Nothing good can come of this. What did I tell you, Alice? Timmy is in the slammer, and Alice is ashamed. All of this could have been avoided by following the simple rules of Facebook etiquette. Don't be bungleheads like Alice and Timmy. Have good Facebook manners and the electric friendship generator will be more fun for everyone. <laughs> 